All right, we want to welcome everyone to the new unit. We are doing math, motion, geometry. And here we go. We're going to use one of our old themes just to help us out with this section of math. Check it out. Let's do a drum roll. And that theme is... And that's all I can afford because I don't want to pay royalties for LucasArts because Mr. Nicanor is broke. Anyways, let's get into our first chapter on translating shapes, which we will call Star Destroyers. Here's our grid. Now let's start labeling the vertices. Here's the grid with the labels. Now I'm going to place my first Star Destroyer. Or what well, we can also say, our triangle. But to me, it's a Star Destroyer. We're going to call this Star Destroyer ABC. Can you tell me what these points are? Let me try and get my pointer. What are these points right here? A, B, C. What coordinates? Remember, we always go over and up. Let's see if I can make that a little bit more defined using my red. Please find for me these points A, B, and C on Star Destroyer A, B, C. It's very important to know where you're at. Press pause now and try and find it out with the coordinates. So what we have here is we went over 2, up 2, so it's 2, 2. For uh, B, we went over 4, and we went up 4, so 4, 4. And for C, we're going to go over 5 and up how many? 2. So let's label that 5, 2. Now, we're going to translate the shape or Star Destroyer. We're going to move the Star Destroyer to another point on the grid. And I want us to understand how we got there. Now, I've just translated the shape right over here. My, what is it? Star Destroyer! If this is the original coordinates right here, we're now going to change the coordinates for ABC into A prime, B prime, and C prime. So ABC prime is now where? You can find the coordinates, but we also want to know where it's been translated. So let's find the coordinates first. What are the coordinates for A prime, B prime, and C prime? Press pause and find them out now. So we just found out that the coordinates for uh, A prime is 7, 7, because we went over 7, up 7. B prime is now over 8, oh, sorry, over 9, up 9. And C is over 10, up 7, so 10, 7. What is the rule for moving all of our shapes? Sorry, um, vertices. So A is now A prime, B is now B prime, C is now C prime. So what is the rule? Let's find it out. Let's follow the path of where C went. So C went, right how many times? One, two, three, four, five. So C went right five times, so it went right five times. Let's just designate how many spaces it went over. So five times is one, two, three, four, five. Now let's see how many times it went up. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. So the rule is right five, up five. So if this is the rule right here, that means every point of the vertices, whether it be A, B, or C, let me get my red pointer, A, B, or C, we know that if we go right five times, one, two, three, four, five, and up five times, one, two, three, four, five, we would translate the whole shape, just take all the vertices, we translate the whole shape following this rule. All right, can you try and follow along and see if you can get from B 
to B prime. Does this rule right here, right 5, up 5, still work? Try it right now. Totally works, doesn't it? Um, let's use a different color. Let's try blue. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And let's go up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Perfect. All right, let's start off with another clean slate. Now we're gonna make a Super Star Destroyer. And let's make it this way. Super Star Destroyer. I wanna, it's hard drawing with my finger right here. A Super Star Destroyer is also known as a triangle. Okay, so we have that triangle. Ooh, that is like the ugliest Star Destroyer, but who cares? They're bad guys, right? Okay, so we've got the Star Destroyer on that point, and let's start, call the Star Destroyer Q-R-S, right there. Now, I've got Star Destroyer Prime, Q-R-S Prime, right here. Can you please come up with the rule and tell me, let's see, write down the rule, and tell me what the rule is to translate Star Destroyer or Triangle QRS to QRS Prime. Translate the Star Destroyer. Press pause and try and figure it out. All right, let's see if we can find out what it would be. Now, I would take a point that would not intersect with anything so we can actually see. Um, here is the point S. Right, and I'll use this. S is right here. And the coordinates for that would be going over 9 and going up um, 5. So it would be 9, 5. And I'm only doing this for my reference, but the translator, I don't need that. I just need to know that I'm going 1, 2, 3, 4 down. So the rule would be down 4, and then I'm going 1, two, three, four, five left. So left, whoops, let's keep unison with this. Left, five. Can you guys see that? Let me see if I can move the whole sheet. There we go. That must be so much easier for you all. All right, if that rule <coughs> is true, that means I can go from Q to Q prime and do the same thing. Let's try blue. And the rule is down four, left five. Let's try that from Q. Down four. One, two, three, four. And left five. One, two, three, four, five. Boom goes the dynamite. And what do you know? Let's try green and go from R to R prime. One, two, three, four. And then left five. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome and amazing. So we've just translated Star Destroyers. Now I would like you to turn to uh, chapter five, lesson one, page 150, I believe, and you're gonna do the assignments right on the worksheet. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in class, but to make it easier, just go back, watch this video, see the parts that you didn't understand, and do it all over again. You guys got this. See you in class.